So, what is phase? Phase is the term for the difference between two sound waves when they're slightly out of sync. The actual gap, the difference between the two starting points. This is measured in degrees. A pair of waves that start opposite each other are known as 180 degrees out of phase. On the left hand side here, I've got a pair of identical signals. As you can see, both the waves are in perfect sync. They're both identical, known as in phase. Now, if you add both those waves together when they're the same, what you end up with, the mixed signals here below, you can see that you end up with exactly the same, but just a bit louder. The second diagram here shows two waves that are opposite each other, 180 degrees out of phase. What happens is that they actually cancel each other out, so you just end up with a flat line. This is called phase cancellation. What choruses, flanges and phases do is put a second wave over the original slightly out of sync, slightly out of phase, and that is what creates the modulation effect. Flanging came from getting identical signals on two different reel-to-reel -reel tape machines. So you'd get one stereo reel-to-reel, -reel, put the same track on a second reel-to-reel, -reel, play them together in sync. You would touch the edge of the reel of one of the machines to slow the reel down, touching the flange. And what that did was put the signals out of phase with each other, making that classic flanger effect. I've taken you through sine waves, figure response diagrams and what phase is. Now I'm actually going to give you a practical demonstration of phasing, flanging and chorusing. And the best way I can do this is to show you it on an old rack echo. And then I can really demonstrate to you how the effects work and you will understand it better. Okay, so I'm going to go onto my Korg echo rack now and show you. 